Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me on Angel Works 10 and this is your butterfly Celtic cross message and I am at a park so pay attention to the stream because you will see butterflies flying by and hopefully you'll get to watch the whole playlist and you'll get to see butterflies come close to the table and everything on the other videos. I am going to be posting special video links for you guys if you are my subscribers or if you're watching this video all the way to the end. You'll get to see some links that I haven't posted publicly yet, and you'll get to click on them and watch them first. Put your energies into the message by liking the video, commenting, and sharing the video. If you've never seen my videos before, I do tell you about a see here and feel. And I put the shuffle at the end of the videos so that I could add those video links and any other kind of information. So stay tuned to the very end of the video. I will be clarifying people that show up and the devil that shows up. I'll clarify the devil and the people. Thank you for watching my video and let's go ahead and get started on your video. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started on your reading, Capricorns. During this time, we have the Four of Mirrors. The Four of Mirrors is the Four of Cups, the 39th card in the Tarot deck. You can be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Cancer, the fourth card in the Cups family. But somebody here is feeling very regretful, remorse, now somebody else got this, Sagittarius, and someone else, but in a different placement. But at this time, you're just feeling depressed and sad because you keep getting these bad cups. But what you don't realize is you don't need other people's cups. You need to fill your own cups up and be happy being alone and being independent and being to yourself. And once you do this, the right person comes in because the divine will bring you the right person that has healed and is doing the same thing and loving themselves and doing the things that they love to do. Then in order to heal from this depression, you can't just be sitting under a tree or staying at home and just constantly just being to yourself, basically like a hermit. So you basically need to get out, stop moping around, stop feeling depressed and sad about it, stop dwelling on past bad relationships, past bad cups, and move on with your life and start loving yourself and fill those cups those empty cups up that has no more love in it fill them up with things that you love to do and then before you know it that fourth cup comes in and it's going to be bigger than these because these are small mirrors and right behind you is a huge mirror where you can see yourself fully so you want to make sure that you love yourself during this time and get out and venture out in the world either by going to the grocery store or the gas station or the parks or joining a club or going to the health center, library, social gathering places in town that is around your area. Now your obstacle is the eight of mirrors walking away. Your obstacle is having the courage to walk away from the situation. Loving yourself first, like I said. You need to start loving yourself, guys. Somebody here is not putting the love in into something. And there needs to be love into a situation. You just, the, this is the 43rd card in tarot deck. And four stands for love, L-O-V-E, four letters. Three stands for the U. It has three letters, Y-O-U. Love you guys. Love yourself. Walk away from all these cups that are no longer serving you. And start a new beginning. It's hard to have to start doing some new routine. But you're going to start loving it. Because you're going to pick what it is that you love to do. Whether it be going to Hobby Lobby. And joining an art class. Or whatever it may be. Going to the park and just taking walks. Whatever it is. You choose what you want to do. What you love to do. Go fishing. or Whatever it may be. And when you start loving yourself, you're going to feel a lot more better about yourself. You just got to get that strength to start doing things that you love to do. And this is Pisces Saturn planetary energy. And I did forget to tell you guys about Capricorn sign. The planetary ruler energy of Capricorn is Saturn, the planet of challenge. An earth element, the mode is cardinal. It's the motto is it's handled. Because Cap Capricorn handles everything, basically. But, as you can see, this is in uh, Saturn 
planetary energy. It's showing up really strong here, but it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with or Pisces Saturn placement energy. Now before, in the past, we had lovers. Gemini coming in, a Taurus Gemini cusp, a Virgo Libra cusp, or a Virgo or a Libra. But the, uh, in the past, you had a love of your life, and something happened where this is in the past, where you're reminiscing of the past loves that you had in your previous times. You just reminisce about loving somebody or about wanting to have that love of your life in your life again. Right now, we have the hero, wow, the magician. You're contemplating about all past lovers and walking away from the situation. The obstacle is walking away maybe from past ways of loving people and becoming a magician and loving in a different way. This is Aquarius, Aries, this could be Uranus, planetary energy you're dealing with, but you're the magician. You're the Merlin of your own life. You manifest what it is that you want by the actions that you do. In your head, what we have is the Nine of Mirrors all. The Nine of Mirrors is the Nine of Cups. Uh, it's stuck in your head about having a wish fulfillment, about your dream come true when it comes to a person. You keep contemplating about a person. This is the ninth card in the Cups family and the 44th card in the Tarot deck. You could be dealing with somebody that has Cancer, Sun, and Cancer, Moon in the chart. Or Cancer, or Sagittarius, or this is Pisces, Jupiter, planetary energy. But somebody here is just loving themselves, thinking about how they can love themselves more and be more abundant in um, an emotional bond, basically. There's bugs flying all the way around me, guys. Not just butterflies. Now, in your foundation, you've got the Ace of Mirror, a mother cup. You're very deeply emotional at this time. This is the Ace of Cups. This is like a Yeti full of love, not a little sippy cup of love. This is a huge cup of love. Yeti cup. This love in your foundation, you have strong emotions towards somebody and you want to give a cup of love to somebody. You're overflowed with emotions towards someone. You really have strong emotions towards somebody. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that you're dealing with. 4,812 as your angel number. This is the 36th card in the tarot deck, the first card in the Cups family. You could also look up their angel number 36 and angel 1. But your foundation is going to be built on love, on finding true love, on finding someone that just doesn't want to take from you, but their emotions. They want to take your emotions and you take theirs, not out to get you for your finances and stuff. Because a lot of you Capricorns work really hard and have your finances in order. Now, the way the person's seeing you or you're seeing this person, ooh, the Ace of Sparrows. Some, somebody here has passion for someone, a lot of passion. This could be an Aries, a Taurus, double Taurus. When I say double Taurus, that means Taurus, Sun, Moon. A Leo, a Sagittarius. But somebody here sees somebody is ha starting a new beginning, having a, pa a passionate new beginning, starting something new with somebody else, wanting to have a new passionate beginning, or they see you or you see them as uh, in and out, just giving your passion to people. But in reality, it could be that you have passion for someone and love for someone. Now, this other person is being seen as the hangman, seeing things differently, being unique, rare, being an oddball of the group, the 12th card in the tarot deck. But somebody sees a lot, they see something in a different light. Something has got brought to somebody's attention and they see things differently now. And something's getting brought to the light. This person would be very spiritual. Now you're hoping, your hope is that something comes to an end. This is a psychic that you're dealing with. You're very psychic and intuitive at this time. But you're wanting something to come to a completion. You want to propose to someone. You, you want to level up your relationship and maybe move in. You, you want, it's like you got the world in your hand. This is like the end of cycles. You got the zero here, the magician.
for some reason, I got to see if that's the magician or the fool. Because that, I think, is the fool card. Let me look at the deck. Oh, yeah. This, this is the full card. I said it was a magician, but this is the full card. So, with this being a full card, after the fact, after all this right here, you're ready to have a new beginning. You're very independent and on your own. And... I guess it was meant for me to think that this was the magician for some reason, that you're manifesting something new. But you are going to be manifesting something new, because that's what comes next in this deck. But this is the fool. Somebody very independent and reliable and just likes to do things on a whim, on their own, and doesn't need nobody. They could be single, or they could be looking. It's like they ended a cycle and started something new. Because in the hopes, is you're hoping that maybe it don't come to an end, this new cycle that it's coming about because you have interest in somebody new, a new passion, and new romantic feelings, passionate and emotional feelings towards someone, and you don't want it to come to an end. You're hoping that they're going to feel the same way and that they're going to say yes if you're committing to them, asking them to move in or marrying them. You're fearing the king of mirrors. You're fearing that this is not a true love. This is not your soulmate. This is the 49th card in tarot deck. The 14th part in the Pope's family. You're dealing with a Cancer, a Sag, an Aries, a Cancer, Aquarius, a Pisces, an Aries, a Gemini, a Cancer, a Leo, or the cusp of Aquarius Pisces, a cusp of Pisces Aries, or a cusp of Gemini Cancer, or a cusp of Cancer Leo. But the fearing is to, you could be afraid to offer somebody a true love. Why is the King of Mirrors showing up here in Capricorn's message. Why is the king of mirrors showing up here in Capricorn's message? Spirit guys, angels, and on. We have the Eight of Cups having to walk away. Here's the Eight of Cups showing up. You're fearing that you're going to offer somebody something they're going to walk away. Nine of Cups. Walk toward the wish come true. And the star. Aww. Somebody walked away. You're fearing that this is too good to be true. Somebody here is in the limelight. You're fearing that you're going to get well known for something, or you're just fearing as if that you're afraid to step into a new direction where you're going to be abundant in something and you'll be in the limelight. There's no reason to fear this because things are destined to happen the way that they are meant to be. Trust your intuition. There is hope here of trusting your intuition when it comes to situations. This is the psyche kicking in, your psychic abilities kicking in. So you'll be able to trust your intuition. You need to get out of your head about that. Oh, well, they won't see me as their wish come true. They won't see me as their all, their be all. They'll walk away from me. You don't need to be thinking negative like that. You got to remember fear is a liar. Fear is a liar. In the love aspect, we got the devil showing up. There could be some toxicity going on in this situation. This is 15th card in the tarot deck. And it also is representing you. You could be realizing that you have a love for something that is very toxic. And you know you need to quit it. Why is the devil showing up here? In the Capricorn message. Why is the devil showing up here in the Capricorn message? So that I use mine. Why is the devil showing up here? In the Capricorn message, so that I use mine. Why is the devil showing up here? I just saw that two times. In the Capricorn message, so that I use mine. You could be in love with a fire sign. Spirit guys, I'm just in line. Thank you. There's your message. We got three messages. The devil's here. You're up in your head about something. You realize that there's going to have to be a completion of something. Because the nine is actually recognizing that it needs to end. Being upset, having anxiety, sleepless nights, worrying, being, being just depressed about something. Ooh, and the chariot comes in. Once you get out of this depression stage, 
you're going to be victorious in the situation with a queen of wands. Like I said, you could be into a fire sign. Why is the fire sign showing up here for Capricorns? Why is the fire sign? Maybe the fire sign has toxic traits. Or maybe they recognize that you have toxic traits. Somebody here has toxic traits. And they're upset about it. And they're trying to heal from it. Because the nine is the stage where you recognize you do need to heal. The two of cups shows up. Why is the queen of wads here? Spirit of the Why is the queen of wads showing up? Thank you. There's the message. We have the queen showing up because all the chariots. You're going to be victorious in the situation. And here's the magician showing up. The magician finally shows up. This person is very witty, smart, book smart, jack of all trades basically. And very intuitive, knows all the elements, has all the elements in the reverse chart. And the two cups shows back up. Oh my gosh. Wow. You guys got the best reading out of all the readings so far, I think. So, you are victorious when you manifest your dreams of bringing the right kind of person in. You've got to give it to the universe. You've got to stop worrying about it. And if you're very spiritual, you pray. This is time for prayer. This is time for healing and getting out of your head. From all these people that has caused lies and deception and backstabbing and betrayals. Yeah, it hurt. I know, because I've already went through it. And you just got to be strong. Stronger than the sword itself. And take those swords out. They're not in your back no more. They're not even in your back right now. It's not like you was blindsided and got woke up to the swords being in your back already. It, they just poked you in the back. And you're healing at this time. And it causes you to move forward, move on. You could recognize with this chariot here, there's a dark side and a light side. A, your bad traits, your bad traits and your good traits. Dark side to somebody, a light side to somebody. Maybe somebody has like a heckle and jive personality. But somebody here is moving away from that kind of ways of being or something. And they're manifesting what they want to have this true connection by spirit. And the only way to do that is you got to let go of non-spiritual actions. Non-spiritual ways of being. I drop the card, hold on. Okay, so in your love aspect, deep love is there, but there is also a connection of toxicity that needs to be cut away because it's causing too much burdens and being in your head about it. But you will be victorious maybe with a fire sign or you have enough passion and drive to let go of the toxicity and move forward because you got the chariot twice to manifest this true love from them. Capricorns. In your success, we have the two of spirit. Yes. You're going to be successful because you're going to choose to go down a different path. A different direction. Here, you are picking a different path. This is the second card in the one family, the twins, third card in the shadow deck. You're dealing with strongly Taurus or Taurus Gemini Cusp. Aries Mars planetary energy. But once you you are going to be successful on the decisions that you make from this point on. When you're deciding to let go of toxic ways of being or toxic people. Now, in your wealth, we have the five of stones being depleted from your finances. You're feeling like you're never going to find that one, that equal that wants to give you the same reciprocity back, an equal give and take. Somebody could always be a giver, and someone's always taken and not given back in the equal kind of a relationship it's like they're always having their hand out for money and not emotions that they may not be that spiritual this is 58th card in the deck the fifth card in the pentacles family you're dealing with a leo strongly leo a scorpio a leo scorpio type person where their son is leo in their main scorpio or vice versa this is taurus mercury planetary energy but somebody here is very like having a martyr mentality if you've not seen that martyr mentality video on the tarot cards come to life playlist go check that out i'll try to put that on the end of the video if i can remember but check out the links that i do put at the end of the videos because some of them are unlisted the butterfly ones are and they're just special 
for the people that are watching my videos all the way through for you to watch first before I actually post it to the public. So join me on the end of this video and all the videos that I do. And eventually on down the road, I post them publicly. But for the first couple weeks, you guys will be the first ones to watch it if you watch the video to the very end. But this is saying to connect with someone that's not going to take you for granted. That makes you feel like they're using you all the time. But your wealth will get there when you stop giving to the people that are always in a victim mentality type situation. Okay, now here we have the relationship card coming in for our spirit messages. Relationships are just mere images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself. As well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. And look at there. Butterflies being released. This is your chance to recognize the way you give in your relationships. On any level. Whether it be romantic relationships, family relationships, acquaintances, people you work with, your friends. How do you do your emotions toward other people. You treat people the way you want to be treated. Here is the angel. Here is the butterfly oracle messages. Now if you pick the small decks, we got oh wow look at that. Volunteer and relationship dynamics. Talking about relationships very deeply. You're looking at your relationships and how you intertwine with these people that are in your life. Are you the type of person that if you're going down a back road, you pull over to get Wi-Fi and you didn't see a person. That's why you pulled over there. And you pull over and all of a sudden a person showed up right when you're pulling out in the middle of the road with a cane asking you for help. What do you do? You blow your window down and you ask them can I help you? And they're like, can I get a cigarette? And it's an elder. And you're like, uh, I don't smoke. I'm sorry. But you can tell that they thought eight. And you have lunch. You have your lunch with you for the day. And you ask them, are you hungry? And they say yes, so you give them your food. Are you that kind of type of person? You know, with strangers that you meet? Or are you the type of person where they're like looking like they're hungry? And you say, well, are you hungry? Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. Do you have anything to eat? And you say no. Are you going to be like that because that's all the lunch you have for the day? You know, how would you do someone if you come across a person? Do you volunteer your time to give to the needy? This says sometimes volunteer work is the best method of affecting change related to an issue that you're passionate about. And also of exploring a new potential career and meeting like-minded friends. This message is guiding you to volunteer in a way that is meaningful for you. Remember that when you give, you also receive. You can't outgive the universe. So even though you give up your lunch and you may not get food, but eventually down the road, it'll come back tenfold. You just can't expect right away. It'll happen in, in due time. The way the universe could be given back to you is not making you feel hungry and starving and not until you get to the next place where you can get something to eat. Or making it safe for you to get to your destination without breaking down on back roads where you don't even have cell phone reception. You know, you just got to look at it in an optimistic way of how the universe is blessing you in different ways. And how if you have time to get away from a toxic way of being, maybe it's time to devote that time into volunteering and helping a local thrift store. Or helping your community by cleaning up the trash around your community or across the street or in your local area or at a place where you see everybody is always throwing trash. Take your time, your valuable time, and use it wisely to give back to the universe. Now the next part we got, relationship dynamics. This message indicates that there have been some changes in one or more of your relationships with your family, friends, or romantic partner. There's a sense that you have less in common and are growing apart. This may be because you are now more sensitive and more conscious of your feelings when you're with certain people. Perhaps in the past you numbed your emotional awareness and now your feelings are awakened. 
The most important relationship of all is with yourself. So you do need to take care of your feelings and needs in the situation. Yes, relationships involve compromises, but ultimately, if you're denying yourself happiness, this will have a negative impact on the relationship. Therefore, you are guided to be honest with yourself and about your needs, and even if it means working with a counselor for support, as you make changes, all of your relationships will be affected. It's time for you to sort out your feelings about each of them to bring a healthy balance into your life. Now, your additional meaning for this is moving your relationship into a healthier direction, a healing relationship with yourself, an individual or marital counseling, a new person entering the picture and changing the dynamics of the relationship. So just work on self and recognize maybe the faults that you did within your own sabotage that you caused in relationships and forgive yourself and ask for forgiveness if you have to or if, or if you're not at fault and somebody else was, let them ask for forgiveness on their own free will don't demand it and accept them for how they are and you can accept them free you can learn to forgive others as you forgive yourself to heal and become in a better relationship dynamic and spend your time volunteering maybe with your new significant partner you both volunteer and give your time freely to make this universe a better place for the birth for earth and for yourself now the other person got if you're picking this welcome the new and moving Ooh, yeah we're moving on and welcome welcome in in the new so let's see i think somebody else got moving i did make a butterfly playlist a couple years ago and they're timeless so go check out that playlist as well if you're done watching this playlist if you want to watch the whole playlist if you felt led to check out the other video I'll try to put it on the end of the video as well but with this it says moving this message indicates that you're moving or just moved into a new home this is a huge change affecting every part of your life on the one hand it is a wonderful way to clear the energy and start new on the other hand the other people can be very disruptive this message acknowledges how much you're currently how much you're current or impeding move affects you with this relocation self-care becomes even more important take time to rest instead of rushing to get everything immediately completed keep up your normal routine of exercise and healthful eating you need your strength and energy for this move and during this adjustment period as well self-care also includes exploring your new neighborhood and making new friends additional meaning is changing your workplace redecorating or remodeling a second home or vacation moving your body through a new exercise program an emotional moving experience so if if your significant other could be transitioning over and moving or if you're going to ask for a person to marry you you both may be deciding to move to a new location and put in new energies to a new home or to revamp the home that you're in for both of you to have it as a home there's a lot of moving going on and I think I can't remember who else got this but if I, if I remember I'll put it in the video but basically if you know you're about to move you want to take baby steps and slowly start moving because if you try to do it within one or two or three days it can be tiresome because you physically have to move up and down stairs pick up heavy things you're overloading tubs you're getting too big of the tubs and it winds up weighing it down and it's too heavy you, uh, too heavy load for you to pick and if you've got tons of tubs of stuff it will drain you it's like working out and you have to do it constantly for non-stop and you will get physically drained but in order to not have this happen is plan ahead take car loads at a time to a storage unit do smaller boxes go to your local areas and find out who's throwing away free boxes and get the smaller versions of boxes or spend the money if you have to and go get u-haul boxes and work around your life and don't go out of your way to do the move make sure you try to find a place where you can move yourself slowly to a location nearby 
on the way to work, on the way to school, on the way to the grocery store, whatever, and load your car up every time you have to go and unload it slowly. And it'll help you. Now the next one is welcome to new. Change can be exciting, bringing you opportunities for joy, learning, and success. This message indicates that you may have been anxious in the face of newness. We are reassured through that the change will bring many blessings for everyone involved. Although it may occur differently than how you would have scripted it, all is in divine and perfect order. Have faith that you'll know what to do in each moment. Trust that your needs will be provided for every step of the way as long as you follow your inner guidance. Allow yourself to feel excited about this change and approach it with a spirit of adventure. Your additional meaning is a big positive change. Respecting the free will choices of everyone involved, even if they differ from your own. Taking an adventure trip, going on a holiday, trying something completely different. So, welcome in the new. The new relationship, do new things in this relationship, and welcome in the new. Now your Whispering Woods message is caution. Tread softly so not to disturb the woodland floor. There's caution that needs to be done. You need to cautiously plant out this move and not be in a rush because you could strain your back, pull leg muscles, arm muscles, harm yourself, trip and fall. So there's caution that is saying that needs to be hooked into. The last message is rock water. Let's see what rock water has to say for us. Watching the Capricorn video. Number 27. Rocky Waters. The world is a symphony of brilliant, delicate, subtle shade. Bold, pure, and blended colors. Abandon the illusion of having found the best colors because it simply doesn't exist. Every flower, every moment, every situation presents different colors. Enjoy the beauty of the universe and open yourself up to the pleasures of life. And get out into nature. Get near water. My favorite thing is to be around water. I hope one day to be living near a river or the lake. I'm a lake person myself, but if I can't be by the lake, I'll be by the river. I'll live by the river or the lake or both. Do what it is that you love to do. If you've never been out at the lake or, or been out at a river, go try it out, guys, and see what you think. But remember, do not wear any kind of perfumes. If you take a shower, don't put in a lot, don't put on clones and stuff because that attracts bugs and you'll get eat up. Take bug spray if you have to. Enjoy nature itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. If this video didn't resonate, go check out one of the other videos that does. They Go check out one of the other videos on this playlist, on the other butterfly playlist. And all the videos on my channel are timeless. Even though I have posted videos for several years now, you go back and watch those videos. And I've improved how I've done the videos because I've learned a lot of different new things. But the message is still there for someone to hear. And it might resonate with you, it might not, but you may get something out of it. Look at that bird going by. Now, what I want you to do is think of a question and we're going to get an answer to find out what your answer is. Put it in the comments below or like this video, put your energies into it, and let's figure out what your answer is. Look in the description box below the title of this playlist, of this video, where I say what things what the title is, you're going to see the word more, the three dots on it, click on the word more, and then you'll see it again a second time, click on it again, so that you can see everything that I'm saying, notifications and stuff, links, easier to get to links, oops, I've got to do this, this message, but I do post extra things in the description box, and I am selling a deck that I created. So if you would like to buy, purchase a deck for yourself or for someone that you know that likes to do tarot, sorry, then feel free to do so. All my decks I'm trying to sell for $31.10. And I really do appreciate your support if you can do it. Now what is the universe wanting us to know? We have the Three of Pentacles. Somebody getting a job, a new career, saving money, starting to put some work into something and being detailed oriented to grow their finances. 
Capricorn energy here. Ooh, here's the Queen of Pentacles coming in. They're trying to become a Queen of Pentacles and be reliable and rely on themselves. They're looking for a Queen of Pentacles, a person that is very motherly, earth, earthly bound. Uh, this person's having to heal their heart. They, they have a broken heart. They feel like they're never going to find their one. You feel like empty inside, like there's a hole in your heart, but know that there is a hole in everyone's heart, and it's placed there for God's love. So you will never feel like you're alone if you feel this hole in your heart with God's love. You have to love God in yourself, and then you'll never feel alone. You'll be able to be independent and in doing it on your own and growing your own finances and not for the search of money. You're, okay, somebody here is having to forgive, ask for forgiveness, being strong, strong-headed, loving animals, being protected right now by spirit. But somebody here is having to forgive the way they've done people in the past, and it helps them heal and move on. Because they realize the hurt and heartache maybe that they've done in, in people's lives with these knives. And they're asking for forgiveness, or they're forgiving themselves and not doing it again to hurt somebody else the next time around and they're going within the hermit shows up they are healing they're learning from mistakes they're becoming wiser in situations that they've done and they may have went through a karmic cycle with this person showing up let's get clarification for the person i'm gonna stick these cards back in here why did the queen of pinkles show up so Spirit God is saying just focus on your finances. You will heal. You are being protected. And you just have to be on your own for a little bit. Spirit wants you to be alone and figure yourself out and how you treat others. And remember how you treat others is how you want to be treated. Why is this queen? That's when Spirit God's Spirit Thank you. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is here because of the fool. Don't be nobody's fool. This is somebody being stubborn, not wanting a new beginning. Two of Wands having to make a choice. Nine of Swords. You only have to make a choice to release the, the anxiety. You got If you are a codependent on somebody, you're going to have to release that. Choose a different path so that you're not feeling backstabbed anymore. Like somebody's maybe too codependent. You're ready to walk in this direction and take a new way of doing something so that you don't feel backstabbed. And you're healing. You're, you're having sleepless nights, basically, again. It's time to pray. Be into spirit more. Go to church. Join a Wednesday class or Sunday or Saturday class. Or go listen to the the music when it's time to play music start slowly getting yourself involved into a church in the community and learning different churches or something to get yourself out of this mentality of being a victim being victimized or being the person victimizing others or whatever thank you guys for watching this video and let's get your answers real quick we're going to start off With the yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So we got one, oh, and that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine yeses. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven no's. So your answer is no. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And always remember, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.
Capcorns. What is the spirit message you have for the people watching the Capcorn video? Spirit guides, angels, and dawn. What messages do you have for the people watching the Capricorn video? I just have two more videos to make, and it's you, Capricorn, your video, and Aquarius's video. Synchronicity popped out, and forgiveness popped out. You may have to forgive your past in order to start seeing the synchronicities come in in the correct way, and the right person comes in into your life. Spirit guides, angels, divine, there's your message. I did not see it. Okay, now on this deck, the butterfly deck, I'm picking a small and a big deck. The small version is either the energy of you or your partner. So you got to pick either the small card or the big card, or you can just pick both piles if it's a lead to for you. If it's resonating. But what is the message? Okay, so this one gets two. What messages do you have for the people watching this Capricorn video, Spirit Guide Nature Design? What are the messages that you have for the people watching this video? What message do you have for the people watching this? Thank you. There's your message. You get two cards on that one. Now let's pick a flower oracle message. I'm hoping that during the shuffle the butterflies will go by. I haven't seen one yet. But I do I did get a lot of footage with the butterflies this time around guys. So I hope you can watch this whole playlist and check it out. This is the woods whis whispering woods message. What is it that you want the Capricorn people to know, Spirit Guys, Angels, and Javon, on the Whispering Woods message? Thank you. This is a message from Spirit Guys, the Angels, and Javon what they want us to know at the end of the message. What more information do they want us to know from them? What is it that you're trying to tell us? Where God thank you from mine. I see burdensome coming to an end, popping around. We just need three messages. Where God thank you from mine. What is the message with the people watching the Capricorn video? I see the night of wands coming in and the food card. Okay, there's a message. We actually got one, two, three, four, five. We sent three cards for this message. During this time. What is it that you're telling us during this time? During the time you're watching this video, what is the message during the time you're watching this video? Thank you. There's some, during this time, what's the obstacle that you have? What is the obstacle in a way? Thank you. This is what's in your head. This is what's in your foundation. This is what's before and after. You are your person, you are your person, your hopes, your fears, the love, the success, and the wealth. 